Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008. I'm looking for the perfect place to sit. I'm looking for the perfect seat. The one that feels most comfortable is the perfect one for me. If I shouldn't find it, if I'm forced to stand, happy or beside me, here to hold my hand. Looking for the perfect place to stand, the perfect place to see. The one that feels most comfortable is the perfect one for me. If I just can't find it, honey, we'll make do. Happy you're beside me and I love you too. I'm looking for the perfect place to be. Relaxing's where it's at. Doesn't matter what I'm doing or if I stood or sat. As long as you're beside me, honey, I'm where I want to be. Happy you're beside me, baby. Happy you're with me. Looking for the perfect spot, a perfect space and time. The spot that feels most comfortable is the spot that I'll call mine. There it is, plain as day. My spot's right next to you. The perfect place beside my honey, next to Connie Lou. Thank you so much. What is your history with music? When I was young, my uh, older sister Jackie hooked me up with a ukulele and her husband taught me how to play. I was four. And then at six, my brother got a guitar and he taught me how to play. I had an uncle named Uncle Roy who was a singing cowboy kind of guy and I uh, wanted to emulate him. When I was a kid, we used to come up north as a family. And then uh, I started bringing my own family up north. That's what this next song is called, about, all about. This is called uh, Chasing My Blues Away. My memories take me back to when I was young. Camping with my mom and dad was good, clean fun. My brother and sisters teasing playing games it seems those are better days well there's an old dirt road that we used to take to a rundown shack out on crystal lake getting poison ivy way up past your knees the smell of those old pine trees take me to the country take me to the freedom chase my blues away take me to the country take me to the lake I'm hanging out and walker I'm chasing my blues away
fishing from the boat puts a lump in my throat thinking about my dad and me daddy get the net my daughter reels one in the biggest bass i've ever seen floating embers drift up in the cool night air from a golden campfire yeah, my guitar's there those soothing strings make my old dog smile Put another log on the fire Take me to the country Take me to the lake Give me back my freedom Chase my blues away Take me to the country Take me to the lake I'm hanging Chasing my blues away There's my lady She's kissing on the kids I'm so glad she's mine And we're sharing this Building love and memories And our baby's mine Memories of happy times into my soul and makes me feel so mean it makes me wonder what am i living for for all of these bolted doors take me to the country take me to the lake give me back my freedom chase my blues away Chasing my blues away I'm hanging out in Walker I'm chasing my blues away Now there's an old dirt road That we have to take To a rundown shack out on Crystal Lake hey, Thank you Thank you so much. Woke up this morning and you were gone. You left for work and you left me song. When you called later, you were so sweet and kind. And when I left the house again, you crossed my mind. about you when I drive my car. Thoughts of you won't get me very far, but I think about you when I drive my car. Well, I was driving in the slow lane, thinking about the My thoughts are filled with you. Hey, I think I need some help. And I wonder, do you feel this way? Do you love me truly? Is your mind consumed with me? When you're tooling through the boonies, do you think about me when you drive your car? Do you think about me when you drive your car? Thoughts of you won't get me very far.
And what are some of your influences, specific artists that kind of influenced how you perform and sound? Well, I've been performing live ever since I was young, and so the, probably the greatest influence on me was the musicians that I was able to work with. When I was 18 years old, I played with a guy named Dan Rinaldi from a, a Twin Cities band called The Litter. And he emphasized to me the importance of the rhythmic structure of a song and the economy of sound used as a rhythm guitar player. He influenced me greatly. I was also able to work with a bass player named Donnie Larson. Both of these guys are in the Minnesota Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And Donnie Larson plays bass like nobody I've ever heard. And simply working with him brought out so much in me. All of a sudden, you're playing a lick that it's familiar to a lick that you heard 10, 15, 20 years ago, you know? What's the importance of having that kind of musician fellowship kind of atmosphere? The thing with music is it's constantly evolving. And as a musician, you're constantly evolving. There's things that you can play after you've been playing for 10 years that you couldn't have played the first two years. And, and it goes on and on and on. And then you think that you've mastered something and you hear some guy on TV like Tommy Emanuel who blows your mind and it just gives you more stuff to work on. It's, it's constantly evolving. That's one of the things I love about music. As a player, you're always challenged, always. Look at the view. It's a rough road as I climb towards the end. But he has gone before me, marked the trail ahead. Now I must follow. It's my corner. I don't want to stumble. Don't want to be fallen. Please, Father, send me a strength. Every step's a Steps up here, where I'm going to. Every steps up here, just look at the view.
<laughs> Just look at the view. How would you describe the experience of playing live music in front of an audience? It can be a complete lift. If it's the right audience for the right music, you know, if it goes together, it's, it's great. Because there's a bond that develops when the audience is into the music. And if the audience isn't into the music, it can be like pulling teeth. <laughs> but as far as reaching an audience, I think one of the best ways that has worked for me is talking to them. Don't isolate them, don't isolate yourself. To get the audience on your side, you have to reveal something of yourself and you have to just put it out there and, and it happens as it happens, you know. footsteps last cigarette check my pockets baby I got 60 cents get a cup of coffee and I can't go to bed day got a southern breeze winter snow is melting baby now the grass is turning green and that old spring fever knocked the blues right out The thing with songs is you can express yourself in a song and it turns out that it touches other people for different reasons, but it means something to them too, you know? So you're giving it away. Every song was written at a certain period in my life and they reflect my head at the time. You know, we'd have to have a three hour show to talk about the meaning of each of these songs because they're all really important to me. You know, they're very important. A song, Winter Blues, that just deals with the guy being alone facing the fact that there's nothing he can do. He just has to go through this heartache and then all of a sudden he's got a spring fever and life changes, you know, and that's the song. Oh, 
first I could not see the things you've done for me. I was blind and could not find your grace. I stumbled through my life, creating stress and strife. And every day the blessings come my way. Change my tune, my point of view with grace. Now I see your grace shining down on me. Accept this gift of mine. You have my faith, my God of grace and love. Now I feel your grace shining down on me. Now I I think that's a really interesting thing about music is that it's like a personal diary with music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I released the CD uh, Chasing My Blues Away, friends made the comment that it was the story of my wife and I. It was a story of how we fell in love and where we're at now, you know. And I look at the lyrics and <laughs> they're pretty right, you know. That is what it is. They're all real life stories. Hope you don't mind if I bend an order to. Plus, 
much poetry in my forte. I gotta sing my song in a simple way. If you listen, hear the little echo. Hey, The thing with songs is you can express yourself in a song and it turns out that it touches other people for different reasons, but it means something to them too. Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008.